Hey guys, it's me, Sharky, otherwise known as Shakira. Yep, hips don't lie. Alright, so, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'll be uploading more soon. It's just, I've been taking a long break, you know. Alright, enjoy the video. Hello guys, today I'll be teaching you how you can make this awesome looking terrain for your Tower Battles map submissions. Uh, we'll be making this in Blender 3D, which is a 3D digital modeling software that is free. So yeah, let's get right into it. Here's all the releases of Blender 2.81, which is the version that I'm going to be using in this video of Blender. I'll leave this link in the description of this video, and you just have to download which one fits your software. Alright, so now we're going to get in the technical process of learning Blender. So once you download Blender 2.81, it should look a little something like this. If you press general, this will open your Blender tab. All right, so press A to select everything, X to delete, and there you go. Now everything's deleted in your viewport tab. Now you can start on working on your terrain. Now press shift, and then or a hold down shift actually, and then press A. If you go under mesh and insert a plane, this will insert a 2D plane. Now that you have your plane in studio, we're gonna size it out by pressing S, holding down control for incrementals, and now move your cursor out like this to enlarge your plane. There we go, so now we have a larger plane. Now, go into edit mode by pressing tab when you're selected, okay? So now on your top right, you should have this axes viewport selector thing, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna press on the blue Z up top. So now you're in the top view. Now we're gonna start drawing our terrain in a 2D image. So once you're in edit mode, you can press K for knife tool and we're gonna draw out our terrain, like the bottom layer of a terrain. We're gonna draw that first. So if we just make any single shape like this per se, it's uh, like that. With knife tool, you just click on anywhere inside the plane to do it, and then you keep on clicking, and then you can connect the last vertice to the beginning vertice by just clicking on it, and it'll snap to it. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna extrude this into a 3D shape. So in your axis selector, we're gonna select the red X to go into side view, assuming that you have all these vertices selected inside of your plane. We're gonna press E, and then Z to like axis snap it. Hold down control, move your cursor up like this. And there you go. So now it's a 3D shape. Now we're gonna shrink the top face of our terrain by holding down Alt and pressing S. You can drag your cursor in slightly, but this will shrink your top layer inwards a little bit. So if you go into top view, you can see that it shrunk a little bit. So now we're going to apply transforms by going back into object mode by pressing tab when you're in edit mode, of course. So hold down control, press A to apply transforms, and press all transforms. So now when you bevel, your beveling should look pretty good. So now that you're in edit mode, at your top left corner you can see if you're in edit mode or object mode. So now press 2, hold down alt, and shift, and then press one of these top edges towards the middle, like around right here. This will select your whole top face, and now we can bevel. So hold down Control and B, and then you can drag your cursor like this. So now it's beveled. There you go. So now that your top face is beveled, we're gonna inset the faces to make the top grass area of the terrain, assuming this is the rock. So hold down Alt and Shift, and then press one of these faces again. Press I for inset and drag your cursor into about like right here. Go into your side view, extrude up like this, and press Alt, or well, hold down Alt, and then press S, drag in, and there you go. So now you have that. But you can also grab this up by going in side view, pressing G, pressing Z, and then holding down control. So there you go. Now you have this. But so import this in the studio with two materials and colors, we're gonna have to separate this. But first we're gonna clean this up. You can also go into face select by pressing three in edit mode. So select these bottom faces right here, that's just our plane. Press X and delete faces. But we'll also need to fill this in. So hold down Alt and Shift in edge select if you want, and then press F to fill. 
So there you go. And we're also gonna check our normals by going up here in our overlays and pressing face orientation. And you can look around and look for red spots, which indicates that a normal is flipped inside, which would mean it won't appear in studio. But it seems that we don't have any red, so it's fine. Now we're gonna separate these models so they can appear as two different colors and materials. So go in your face select, which is three, press Alt and Shift, and then click one of these like edges areas. So now that I'll loop select that, and also hold down Shift and then press the top one. Press P and then Selection to separate these models. So now you can grab them and move them and they're not connected. So now we'll get to exporting. You can export these models by selecting them both, clicking File, Export, FBX or OBJ, but I do FBX because they're both models. So now you can just save these to wherever you want to. I already have a terrain here, but I'll make another one. I'll call this Terrain 2. And now you can export as FBX. So now that you have your file exported, you're going to want to go into Roblox Studio. Now in your set manager, you're going to want to press this bulk import button. Find your file, which mine is Terrain 2. Click on it and press apply. This will import both of your separated objects. If you select them both in a set manager using shift click, you can, and then right clicking, you can insert with location. This will make them connect it, but appear as two meshes. So now scale down with your Roblox Studio keybinds. And now you can insert materials as you please. Which I'll be using grass and slate. So I'll make that one real quick, which is like a winter themed. So I have a light rock for this one. And a very light colored grass. And now I'll make a fall themed one. So there you go. That is how you make this beautiful terrain for your Tower Battles map submissions. Have fun map making.